What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Sunday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. And I hope each and every one of you are doing great. Even though right now times are kind of crazy and things just aren't great. The world's kind of on fire right now. I just want to say thank you to each one of my 2100 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. You guys hold me accountable. You guys remind me every day why it is I'm doing this. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. If you could please hit that like button. If you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help and support the channel. So George Floyd, a crazy situation down in the States. Places are on fire. People are rioting because people are sick of it. Now, I wasn't going to touch on it. I was going to leave it alone. It's an American thing. I'm in Canada. What business do I really have talking like about it publicly? But now we've had this Reggie Korczynski paquette killing in Toronto. Now, obviously, I wasn't there. I can't say for sure what happened. But the family is insistent that the police had something to do with their daughter dying. Now... The police were called there for a domestic dispute by the family. And the daughter said she had to go in and use the washroom. This is what I read. And jumped off the, the balcony. Now, I've been under police supervision. Whether under, arrested, under arrest or not, once you are in their custody, they're not going to let you out of their sight. Let alone run across an apartment open the sliding balcony door and jump to your death. They're gonna chase you down, they're gonna catch you before you ever get there. So that is why I speculate that this story is probably not true. The family is probably more true. And uh, my point is, what do you think is gonna keep happening if you keep killing these innocent people? Now, we can, we can all sit up here and say that it's not a racial thing, that the cops kill everybody, but that is not facts. Sure, cops kill white people, they kill Chinese people, they kill Spanish people, they kill black people, but it is nowhere near the same amount of people that are gunned down every year innocently. Now, if you look across the U.S., there are innocent, unarmed black people being killed by the police almost daily. And although it doesn't happen as much in Toronto, we still have it happen as seen in this new story in High Park. And obviously, if you look back, you have Sammy Yatim, a 16-year-old with obvious mental health problems who had a little tiny knife and was gunned down by Officer James Forcello, who was charged and convicted of murder or manslaughter. I can't remember exactly what it was, but... We are now starting to see this happen way too often. Now, I wish I could be down there in the States protesting with you guys. Obviously, criminal record, can't come, can't do it. And, you know, being just fresh out of the system, I really am, uh, you know, it's hard to say that I want to go out and, and get caught up in this situation because I would lose. Obviously, I would end up in prison. To be honest, I would really be, just love to be there supporting the people of Minneapolis during these crazy times. And maybe I will end up going down to Toronto if the protests get big, if that's what happens in support of Reggie. This is craziness. I'm telling you, as a person who's been arrested many, many, many times, never once was I scared that I was going to get gunned down except for the last time. Now, obviously, as a third-time federal offender, the officers knew who they were chasing. And really, if I was the one shot by the cops, I would have nobody to blame but myself because I was an active criminal. But that's not the case. That is not what's happening. Most of these innocent people that are killed down in the U.S. and in Canada aren't even actively engaging in criminal activity. A lot of the time, somebody is making an assumption or somebody has uh, mis, uh, uh, mischaractered somebody or just sees somebody and sees the color of their skin and assumes that because there was a crime done in the area, that must have been the person doing it. Now, this problem that is going on in our world, this systemic racism, which 100% facts exists, unless you're crazy, how do you not see it? The prisons, the... 
impoverished neighborhoods, if you can't see the disparity in numbers, then you're just not looking hard enough. The reality is, unless you create opportunity for people, you create an equal system that works the same for all of us, you're going to have people lashing out. Imagine that, imagine you came into this world and there was just no way you could provide yourself or your family with the proper life. Wouldn't you be angry? Wouldn't you be fighting for that? Wouldn't you be selling drugs if you had to? Wouldn't you be robbing and stealing if you had to? Honestly, I've been in that boat where I have no way to feed myself. And what do I do? I broke into places. I robbed, I stole. Well, I never got gunned down. You understand what I'm saying? My point being that at the end of the day, just because you're out committing a crime does not mean that you should be murdered. And just because you're resisting arrest a little bit does not mean that you should be murdered. I've ran from feds. I've struggled with cops. They've never shot me. And I, I would be crazy to think that the skin color I have hasn't been part of, of why I haven't really been hurt that badly by the cops. I've met lots of black black men in my time doing time that have been beaten brutally the teeth knocked out of their mouth taken into the police station and stomped out and beaten within a half inch of their life when they're not even guilty of the crime now we can all sit back and pretend that this isn't happening us white people i'm talking about we whether conservative or liberal if you do not see this you're blind and you're and you're a doing a disservice to this world. At the end of the day, you have a voice and you need to say something. If you see anything like that, you stand up and you say something. Now, I know for a fact, if I was down there, I definitely wouldn't have left the scene. I would have stayed and I would have been there riding with them. But at the end of the day, being a white man, I don't see this stuff very often. I live in a predominantly white neighborhood, so I just don't see it. And... At the end of the day, I really, really hope things change. I really, really, really hope that these riots and these burn-ups and these smash-ups finally make a change. Uh, do I think that they will? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, we're obviously all starting to lose hope. You know, you got these people controlling the government who obviously care about one thing, and that one thing is money. And, uh, you know, the, the, sad, the sad thing is... I really don't know if there is a bright light at the end of the tunnel in, in this kind of situation. So we'll see. All we can do is hope for the best and uh, hope that maybe, just maybe, this opens somebody's eyes. And all you people that are down there protesting, all of you that are down there standing up, I salute you. Man, obviously it's difficult. I've been watching videos seeing people get sprayed with tear gas and they're still there riding. I've seen people getting hit with batons and they're still there riding. Keep it up. You know, at the end of the day, your voice will be heard if you keep it up long enough. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help, and support the channel. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know where, where everybody is coming from in these situations. Where I know how black people feel. I can't say that I do. But what I can say is I have seen firsthand the disparity in the treatment between black inmates, white inmates, Hispanic inmates, Chinese inmates, uh... It's a pretty sad thing to see, and uh, I just hope one day something is done about it. Now, uh, if anybody does not like me speaking on this, well, that's your opinion. At the end of the day, I have lots of friends who are black, I have friends who are brown, I have friends who are Asian, and I am going to support them with my voice if I can. Love each and every one of you. The new Matt Clark.